And welcome back, Math Masters of Virtual Room 502. Uh, let's get started on the back page, page 60 of our problem set. And once again, if you feel comfortable with this, move along, come back and check, okay? Do an 89 divided by 6. Okay, how many eights, How many sixes can we fit inside 6? Six? 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12, so it's just going to be 6 times 1. Subtract 8 minus, it's actually 80 minus 60, would be 20. Bring down the 9. How many 6s can we get into 29? Well, let's count. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. So that's all the 6s we can get in because 6 times 5 would be 30. We subtract, 9 minus 4 is 5, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So it looks like it's 14, remainder 5. Let's check. We're going to take the quotient and multiply it by the divisor. 14 times 6, we know that 4 times 6 is 24, bring up the 2. 10 times 6 is 60, 70, 80. We have 84 plus 5, the remainder, right? 4 plus 5 is 9, and 8 plus nothing is 8. We get 89, and we are absolutely correct. Practice will make perfect. Okay, we have 96 divided by 6. I'm going to put 96, my dividend in there. My divisor goes outside of the division house, as they used to call it when I was a kid. How many 6s into 9? Only 1, right? 6 times 1 is 1. 6 times 2 is 12. So I can put my 1 up there, my 6 down there, which is actually a 60. 6 times 10 is 60. Notice how that's in the tens place value. 9 minus 6, or 90 minus 60 is 30. Bring down the 6. Oh, oh look at this. 6 times what is 36? 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 6 is 36. Are we correct? Let's take our quotient and multiply it with our dividend, our divisor, excuse me. 6 times 6 is 36. 10 times 6, 6 and 80, 90. And we are absolutely correct. All right, moving right along. I would like you to try this one on your own if you haven't been doing so already. 60 divided by 3. Go for it. And welcome back. Okay, let's see what we get. 6 divided by 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 0, 0. What do we do now? My mind is exploding. We can't leave this empty. It can't be 2 because we know 3 times 2 is 6. So we put a 0 right there. And 3 times 20, by golly, we know that that's 60, right? We've done enough of this math. 0 times 3 is 0, and 2 times 3 is 6. And there is 60. Oh, Mr. Leggett. Uh-oh. Here comes the math mod. I wonder what he wants. Mr. Leggett, there was no remainder on that. No, there was no remainder. Why, why, do, you, why do you ask? Well, I like remainders. Well, I thought you liked um, parentheses. I love parentheses the most, but I also like remainders. Why do you like remainders? Well, because... When you eat your dinner, yeah, and you don't finish it all, yeah, I get the remainder, don't I? Yes, you do get the remainder of it. That's why I like the remainders. All right, Mathematic. Well, thank you for your input on remainders. Very valuable. Okay, let's take 60, and we're dividing it by 4. All right. Well, let's think about it. 4 times 1, 4. 4 times 2, 8. So we're going to put a 1 up here. 4 times 1 is 4. In this case, it's actually 4 times 10. Look at that. And it's 40. We subtract. 6 minus 4 is 2. Bring down the 0. What do we got? 4 times what is 20? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So 4 times 5 is indeed 20. 0, 0. We'll check. 15 times 4. 5 times 4, 20. When 10 times 4 is 40, 50, 60, and we are absolutely correct. All right. Go ahead and give this one a try on your own. You can pause the recording. We're doing 95 divided by 8. Go ahead and pause the recording and give it your best shot, okay? Welcome back. I can only fit 1, 8, and 9, right? Because 8 times 2 is 16. So 9 minus 8 is 1. What do we do now? We bring down the 5. So 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 is greater than 15, so it's going to be 8 times 1 again. 
subtract. Hmm? Hmm? 15 minus 8 is 9, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 7. So it looks like we have 11 remainder of 7. And this is one we probably could have done mentally, I bet. But we didn't, so that's okay. So let's just take a look what we get. Um, we can do our multiplication, 11 times 8. This is why I'm saying we could have done it up here. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 8 is 8. We're going to add the 7 on. 8 plus 7 is 15, and 8 plus 1 is 9, and sure enough, 95. I'm saying we could have done it mentally because we could, could have gone, oh, yeah, well, 8 times 11 is 88, 7 more than 95, uh, 11 remainder 7. Okay. 95 is going to be divided again, but this time by 7. This one I don't know if I would venture to do mentally. It might get a little crowded with numbers in your brain, but I'm sure some of you can do it. Um, go ahead and pause the recording and give this one your best shot. So pause and welcome back. Uh, 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14, so this has got to be 7 times 1. We subtract. 9 minus 7, 8, 9 is 2. So that's actually 90 minus 70 to get 20. Bring down the 5. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 4 is 28. So can't be greater than 3. And 7 times 3 is 21. We subtract. 5 minus 1 is 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. Looks like it's 13, remainder 4. Let's go ahead and do the math. 13 times 7. 3 times 7 is 21, 1 times 7, 8, 9, 91, plus 4, 1 plus 4 is 5, and we're at 95, 95. So there was a remainder of 4. A remainder of 4? Yes, a remainder of 4, math, but I, I wish I could eat numbers. No, you can't eat numbers. That's too bad I would eat that 4. You're welcome to give it a try. No, thank you. All righty. Thank you, Math Mutt, for your help today. Um, we're going to do our student debrief, and then you can log on to Zern until recess.